Hey fellow artists, I'm so excited. I'm actually doing a collaboration with a gold leafing company and for the first time ever, I'm going to try a new variety of different shades of gold leaf. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know I like to use this traditional gold leaf in my 3D paintings a lot. But today, I'm actually gonna do a little unboxing just to get my first initial reaction on how the color sort of fares and then you'll see it in an upcoming project, yay! Here we go. Let's see what they look like. So exciting. Look, look, look. Ooh, okay. So four packages in here. And then I think there's one more in there. So I actually asked for different, like mostly metal shades, but then I went, you know, I was like, oh, what if we try a little bit of a green? So I got champagne gold, turquoise, green, and champagne silver. And then I think there's going to be like a... I asked for like a rose gold or something. I think that was some one of the, is that what it was? Yes, rose gold, yay! So this is exciting, okay. So all different kinds of shades. Um, and you know, I probably could have gone green and blue and stuff like that, but I'm just, you know, I'm obsessed with greens anyway, so green and turquoise is perfect. You know what, I'm actually gonna do the champagne gold first. So let's check out champagne gold and see how it compares. Ooh, okay. Oh, so this is interesting. It's not, they're very loose. Okay, here we go. Oh, the, each one is in its own little packet. That's nice. Let's see, so the champagne gold, I'm assuming it would be just like a little bit lighter. It's definitely very shiny. Here we go. Okay, so champagne gold, I can see that it is just like a, a hair lighter. I don't see a huge difference in the champagne, but it is very beautiful. Ooh, well, I got one out anyways. You can see it's reflective and lovely and wonderful. So the champagne is pretty close to what I have already. Let's see what the other ones look like. So this one is a champagne silver. Oh, I forgot I had asked for a silver, a silver one because I've never actually used silver leaf before. So let's see. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this will be great. There we go. Nice bright silver. It's actually kind of a warm silver though still, look. Here we go. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a warm silver. It's definitely a lot cooler than a regular gold. Make sure that's not my light. You know what, it's kind of my lighting a little bit. When I look at it back over here, look at that. It's definitely, here, I have a light on over there that might be slightly warm. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, I take that back. Look, that is that is definitely way more silver than gold. I just had a kind of a warm desk lamp on over there. It's so hard to hold these things up. But there we go, yeah, definitely. That's definitely nice and silver. And this one is definitely uh, much, much warmer. So awesome, I'm excited to try the silver. Very cool, very cool. Okay, try not to make a huge mess over here. It's okay, each package though comes with 100 sheets. So even though I'm kind of wasting one sheet of each, it's really not bad, 100 sheets. And the prices were really good too. Um, obviously, they I'm doing a sponsorship with this one, but I think they were like, if I remember correctly, they're less than $15 a piece. Ooh, look at that gold. It's like, em I mean, the green, it's like emerald. Yes, look at that. Ooh, I love that. That'll look nice, like with other things. Emerald and gold, ooh, emerald and silver. Yeah, and actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking over here at this champagne gold, it is a little bit less warm now that I have that other light off. So you can kind of see, it's definitely got, it's, it's kind of like a, if silver and gold got married and had a cute little baby. Okay, <laughs> slowly making a mess over here. That's okay, that's okay. And I did the green, so let's do the turquoise and compare those, and then I have the rose gold as the last, which is kind of the one I'm a little bit most excited about. Because I really, rose gold has gone, gone run on me. It's one of those colors that I wasn't super attracted to, but now I really like it. Okay, ooh, all right. We got this kind of, kind of more mermaidy kind of green. Let's see, so the turquoise, like this. And then the green green, yeah, is like an emerald. So there's definitely nice, nice shine. This one's definitely really deep and robust. That turquoise is nice though. That that like literally looks like gemstones or like um, uh, like a mermaid tail or something like that. Yeah, you can kind of compare it to the the original gold one. But yeah, these are nice. I mean, these are all like you can tell these are all really nice gold leaf. Okay, now for the last one. I'm excited about the rose gold. Ooh, I can tell it's kind of warm even on the side. Nice. I wonder if this will be kind of like a copper type thing, which would be awesome. I would not mind that at all. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, yeah, okay, it is. It's kind of rosy, kind of coppery. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so here, let me 
get this in. There's the rose gold compared to the original. See how much warmer that is? It's kind of like really nice. It's not quite copper, you know, because copper would be darker, but yeah, it's really warm. Like look at it in comparison to the silver, the silver and rose gold, like that's so nice. Ooh, yeah, it is. It's like got just that little kind of pinky hue to it. Like that'll look so nice if I can figure out pieces to have them in together. So yeah, this is great. I am really very excited. So King Boom is the name of the company. And I will have some links down in the description for you. Take a look at King Boom and try out some of their gold leaf. This is, this is a really good deal. This is a nice big old package of gold leaf for really, really great pricing. Okay, now for the moment we have all been waiting for, I am actually going to attempt to gold leaf this cicada exoskeleton. Is it weird if I say that gold leafing bugs is something that's totally been on my mind lately? Asking for a friend, of course. Since I didn't really know any different, and maybe I should even say any better, I just kind of attacked this project like I would gold leafing anything. I just painted the areas of the exoskeleton or the wings or anything else I wanted with sizing just as you would with any other surface and then gave it about 20 minutes to dry to the point of tackiness and brush the gold leaf on. Cannot wait to show you the results. Ooh, and did I mention I wanted to try it on plants too? Well, I wanted to try it on plants too. You know I am obsessed with collecting and pressing all kinds of wonderful plants, including these fantastic ginkgo leaves that you can collect right here in Chattanooga. They turn bright yellow during certain times of year, and I actually have a little of both and a whole bunch of other fantastic leaves I will show you at the end. Once about 20 minutes had gone by for each specimen, I literally just kind of pressed the gold leaf right onto the sizing. Really no rocket science or special technique or anything. You know, I tried to be careful because of course the little bug legs and you know, leaves, you know, you're not seeing those, but the little leaves are kind of delicate. So, you know, I was kind of careful, but you can see I'm just using my fingertip and then I go in also with a paintbrush and just kind of dab it on, you know, press it on so it sticks and then use that same, you know, brush, obviously a dry brush to kind of brush it off. There's really, again, no special technique that I'm doing that's any different than you would on paper. It was a big risk, but sometimes big risks pay off in a big way. Oh my goddess, I literally have only one thing to say. Yes, queen. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Even the little pinchers right at the very front. Perfect. The wings were actually kind of super easy. All I did was just kind of press it on there and then just kind of brush away on the edges. So I did most of that with my fingers. There wasn't really anything like majorly to brush away from the actual surface of the wing and they turned out so well. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till you see the little lines and the little details. I mean, all in all, to be perfectly honest, I am so impressed with how well this leafing adhered to everything, all these different materials. Like, I'm just gonna say, it, I'm shook. I mean, look at this. You saw the cicada uh, exoskeleton, but look, I was able to literally get just the feet of this tiny little mummified lizard. I mean, check out the detail in these leaves. How cool is that? Like all the holes and everything. Now I did wind up for some of these more fragile ones, actually painting over it first with Mod Podge and then adhering. And that seemed to make it really solid. But some of these, like the thicker ones, that is just leafing, right? Leaf on a leaf, right? Isn't that amazing? Like I literally cannot believe how well it worked. Um, the only things that it didn't work on, which would be too expected, like I don't even count this as points against 
any kind of gold leafing, but the only things that it didn't work on were things that were like super detailed. But honestly, that was more about being able to brush it off. Like you have to kind of really get in there with a brush and these dried little teeny tiny leaves, like these ones, these little tiny dried leaves, they're just way too fragile to be like brushed off with a stiff brush, which is that's what it takes. So I just stopped trying to get the gold leaf off. So the only ones that weren't successful really was just about the sturdiness of the plant, not the leafing at all. Look at this one. Hey, this one's actually from Hawaii. This is a fractal fern, or at least that's what I learned is the name. How cool is that? And it worked actually very nicely. This one I accidentally broke myself, so that's not, <laughs> not King Boom's fault, but both of these, the ginkgo, so nice. I mean, they're like, I want to put these on like a card or something. I mean, they will definitely go into my 3D paintings, but wouldn't that be lovely just like on a grading card or something as well? Got one of the little maple maple little whipper wheel things here. You can still see like all the texture in there. I mean, really, it's exquisite. It really is. Not to mention these amazing cicada wings. Look at that. So that's the side that the gold leaf is actually stuck on. So you can't see the little lines. But then since they're clear, you get those beautiful lines right in between. Like, oh my gosh. They really look like fairy wings. This one was the champagne, uh, champagne gold. And then this one is the, or the champagne silver and the champagne gold. So yeah, you can really see the difference. That one's silvery and that one's gold. Just, just absolutely exquisite. I cannot wait to use these. I already have ideas. I even gold leafed a stink bug. <laughs> have you ever seen such a posh little stink bug? And how about these little ferns? These ferns look like little Christmas trees or something. They're like these little resurrection ferns. So they're very stiff on their own, but they took it so well. I mean, that literally looks like it just grew that way. And last but not least, this is, I believe the upper mandible, the upper jaw area of a possum. I think my stepdad gave me this cause they lived out in the woods and they would always find stuff like this. And I did the upper palette on him. Like how cool is that? All the little holes from the teeth. And that amazing leafing right inside so this will definitely make a very cool art project once i figure out what to do with it but i love how all the texture and everything comes straight through and it's not like i was super careful i mean you saw how i was just kind of laying it on with my finger and brushing it off with the brush i don't have any special technique other than that it just really does look that good I didn't want to forget to mention that while I used King Boom for all of the leafing, this is the adhesive size that I used for everything. As of now, King Boom does not have sizing available, so I just used some from Speedball and this worked wonderfully. I also decided to use some of this fabulous, super bright King Boom metal leafing in my latest 3D oil painting. It's actually the first time I've ever used a non-gold leafing in any of my paintings, so I was a little nervous, but it wound up turning out beautifully. Keep an eye out because I'll have that video out next. Pop on down to the description for a link to take you straight to King Boom's store. Thanks for being here today, guys. I'll see you next time.